Hello, everyone, and welcome to my first ever gear review on YouTube. I'm going to start with a Switch Vibracell Sparkle Blue model. Not sure of the actual model number. It is a used guitar I picked up for about 200 bucks. It has a piezo in the bridge. It's a bound neck. As you can see, we have a nice binding here. Also, if you note, there is a piezo model built right in where the strings come across the bridge. Two switches down at the bottom. The smaller switch controls the piezo on and off. If you do have two inputs, two mono inputs into the guitar, otherwise you have to switch back and forth with the plug. Not bad. They sound pretty good for the money. I believe they probably are branded by Architects. You see here the Scrover tuners. Those are really nice. And if you look down as we go through the neck, you see it's molded right into the body. That's the selling point of these guitars. It's all one piece, one solid unit. Took off the back plate, looked at the electronics. They are full size 500k pots. Mess of a wiring scheme back here. Look to be alpha cut. Also, there is a battery compartment on the upper belt. See the wiring mess here. And there's the battery for you. Now, this is the weirdest part of the guitar. The strings, it is a string through, but the strings load in through the side, the back side of the guitar, which proved to be kind of difficult with the guitar lying on its back. I found that in order to get the strings inside and through those holes that you see coming through the body, I found that it was easiest to turn the body upside down and put the strings through and then from that point turn the body back over on its natural side and get the strings wound through the tuning holes. Other than that, strung up like a breeze plays in tune very well. So just a side note before we get started, I just had a shot into my carpal tunnel nerve which hurt like a mother effort. And I was told I cannot play for a week. So I tuned the guitar to an open G so I can make chords with just two fingers. Also the sound that you're hearing is straight into GarageBand and acoustic guitar preset. And um, just let it roll. You'll notice that there is a three band equalizer up on the upper bout, upper horn of the, um, the guitar. Kind of set those to flat. There's also a little volume knob there. And that red light looks to me as a battery indicator. When you press that little button just above the little knob, it tells you whether the battery is um, charged or not. I couldn't find another use for that. Otherwise, let's set it to flat and just give you some sounds. Not too bad.
Right, do keep in mind I did have a wrist injury while doing this so there's only so much I can do without getting in a lot of trouble so that wraps up the Vibercell review I hope you enjoyed it so click on the Mercy Point logo and you will be taken to the Mercy Point band page our band page you will see five videos from our band all of which you will enjoy you'll also see other music projects I have been involved in you will enjoy yourself. You will enjoy yourself. Baba Booey. <laughs>